Hey guys, I have a very special treat for you guys tonight. I have been browsing Wish, which is a dubious site at best, and I have here two packages. I have ordered myself a Figma Coon and a Figma Chan, but I've ordered two Figma Chans from two different sellers. And what my plan is, is I'm gonna pick the one I like and then I'm gonna give away the other one. So, we're gonna go ahead. I mean, they haven't even been unwrapped. Like, I really saved this for you guys. I saved this as a special treat. And you guys are gonna have to watch my live stream on Saturday, my live stream to celebrate my one year anniversary of sharing my comic, Seven Inch Kara as a webcomic, you're gonna have to watch my live stream for information on how to win one of the two, one of the Figmas. So, this is the first one. You can see she's fairly small, slightly dented package, has Bandai marking. I have been warned that Wish is a lot of knockoff stuff. So for all I know, this could totally be a knockoff. So we've got our body chan here, the DX set, pale orange version. And now we're gonna open this. This should contain not only a body chan, but the body coon, the male version. So like I said, I'm gonna be giving away a body chan. So you could win a body from me, not my body, but a body from me. But you guys gotta hang out with me on Saturday to win. So this is the other one. They're from two different sellers. Oh, super dented. Wow, these, these have seen, these have seen some things. However, they both look decent. We have the um, figure arts. I, I wanna say that in, in like figure arts and we have the Figma and they're fairly small but they look decently nice. I think the SH Figure Arts is probably a little more anime proportion, whereas the Figma is a little more realistic. So we're gonna take a look. I'm gonna open them both, but I'm gonna repackage. So yes, you will win a slightly loved figure, but only slightly, slightly loved, like, Enough for us to compare the two. And yes, the packaging is damaged to heck and back. And like I said, I got these through Wish. Okay, so we've got some photocopy looking instructions, including instructions on how to assemble the, set, the stand and some switch outable hands. And it looks like some switch outable feet and these feet have articulation in them that's cool let's go ahead and take a look i'm gonna have to tape all of this back up wow double tape I mean, it was crazy cheap on Wish. It was like $8. Um, and I've wanted a body chan for a while. In fact, I've said for, I guess about a year since they released them, that if they had an androgynous body figure, I would have ordered it already. All right, here is our, well, this isn't body chan. This is our Figma action figure series. It smells like plastic. Park tank next flesh color version. Actually, it smells like vinyl. Even the little feeties point, that's kind of cool. Her shoulder articulation is not super great, but it's not terrible either. It's like enough that you could kind of get it just for the pose, which is cool. So not perfect, but cool and workable. And if you understand your constructive human anatomy, 
Uh, you should be able to kind of piece it together from here. And she has replaceable hands using the Figma system. I have a few Figma figurines. Go ahead and replace. She also has the hex hole on the back so you can insert the stand. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. This might actually be a real Figma. I was told on Twitter that like literally everything from Wish is a knockoff. But this might not be. So that's cool. And they're much smaller than I expected, which is fine because I actually have very limited space. So small is good. Okay. We're going to set aside the Figma. We're going to take a look at the dented body chan box. I think I paid like 13 for this and they usually retail for a lot more than that. Oh, yeah, I thought so. She's the one who has all the hands. <laughs> I did not buy her because of just all the hands, but my rationale was also that even if these were like horrific knockoffs, they would still be a lot of fun. I don't, do these come with any instructions? Yes, okay. Oh, okay. So there's like a sheet of sort of graph paper that you can maybe put together put behind her and it would help you figure things out. And then here's an explanation of the articulation system. And then they have all these other props and then they have like a stand thing that you can do. She's actually really cool. And you can put the extra stuff in the base. That's neat. And then of course they show off how poseable they are. And you can take pictures with your phone, of course. And then they show how to <laughs> how to kind of like soften it up and then redraw it so that it can be your characters. Which it's I mean, you know what? It's your photography. It's your figure. It was designed for you to do that. If you're gonna do that, I say more power to you. I wanted a posable, like a good posable action doll so that I could stage things a little bit better for the comic I am doing, Seven Inch Kara. So, okay, we have here what looks like maybe a laptop, a cell phone, another cell phone, a pencil. Aha, I understand the laptop now. So it's a tablet, a laptop, and a gun. That's actually pretty nifty. It's gonna be so hard to choose which one I wanna keep. Okay, and then we've got all these really cute teeny tiny hands, you guys. Look at these little bitty hands, ah! And you're gonna to wanna to hold on to this because it's gonna help you keep things organized. Aha, aha, a casting defect. I wonder if this is just a very good knockoff. And then here is our Oh, oh, she's not as nice. Isn't that neat? That, I mean, I would have thought she'd have been the nice one. I paid more for her. Um, and she's not as nice as this one. Whoa, just joint pops right out there. Yeah, I think she's the knockoff. She might be the real thing and she might be the knockoff. How weird is that? Look at these tiny, like, look at this. It doesn't even scale. Look at her tiny, tiny baby fists. Oh. Don't cry. Don't cry, Body Chan. Aww. Oh, she has peanut joints, though. Those are nice. Does, do you have peanut joints? No, she does not have peanut joints. So peanut joints are, it's a, it's a ball joint doll term. And they are not always as pretty, but you see how it's like double jointed there? And it allows for a much wider range. Oh, I was hoping her shoulders would have similar articulation but no because she's a knockoff so her her shoulder articulation is not super good interesting interesting like the joints in her feet are terrible whereas the joints and the figma feet are actually pretty good and then you can switch them out for the plain feet i think wow yeah 
I think um, the less expensive one is actually much nicer. That's interesting. So I think I'm going to be giving away. It's a little bit of a shame, but I think I'm going to be giving away Body Chan. The little miss. Whoa, where does this extra hand come from? I will pop it on there. This little miss, oh, oh, because there's a molding defect in her hand. This hand is, is not molded correctly. So I'm not even gonna open the rest of this. I'm gonna repackage it up and you guys are gonna have to watch my stream on Saturday to celebrate the one year anniversary of my comic, Seven Inch Kara and you can win the body chan figure and i will mail it out to you and this is only going to be open to u.s residents i'm sorry unless i mean if you have like a surrogate in the u.s that counts as well but i'm not mailing i can't afford to do international shipping yeah look at this this isn't even correct it calls it the gray version but i had gotten the skin version yeah yeah i'm not i'm not displeased i mean for what i paid and from where i got it this is exactly this is exactly I thought she was going to be as bad. So I actually feel like I came out really good because I really like the uh, Fig Figma figure. And I'm sure like the real body Chan is nice. And I'll just have to find somebody who has one and see if we can compare them. But somebody is going to win this one. And I am going to get back to playing around with, I have a male one too which I haven't opened. He could be terrible for all I know. But you know what? For price of admission, I'm already happy. So my body chan is probably a knockoff. There's a lot of molding defects. I can already tell. Um, her hands are also like ludicrously tiny and she doesn't have nearly a, the articulation that the Figma one does. However, this is probably a knockoff. This is from Wish. So this is probably not the real thing. And the branding on the inside isn't consistent with the material that I actually got. So who knows with that? This is not like an official Body Chan versus Figma review, which I'm sure some of you guys are like super disappointed about. I would be, I would be, but nope. It is not an official review. Look at there and like take a, pic a picture, draw over the picture, then go ahead and paint it. I mean, you know, that's what these dolls are for. They are pose dolls, but yeah, she just does not have as good articulation. So as you guys can see, I am packing her up at least as well as I can so that you get everything. I'm going to tape her back up and on Saturday, we're going to pick a lucky winner or an unlucky winner. <laughs> Depends. But you guys, you guys know this is probably not the real deal. You're getting something for free and I purchased this from Wish. So, all right, let's take a look at the other Figma. This is the male Figma. Archetype he. Oh, oh, I got all excited. I was like, oh, the girl came first. See their, his pack, their packaging is correct. Flesh version, flesh version. It also just has like that vinyl smell that is like legit, legit vinyl. So comes with the instructionals. This looks like a photocopy, like this looks fake. The packaging is pretty suspect, uh, but it works like the real thing or works similar enough to the real thing that it suits my purposes. And the instructions. And then some poses. You could do a real cool dude pose here. And I am pretty abysmal at drawing dudes much less super muscly dude. So hopefully Archetype E will help me out here. Be my little drawing buddy. My little Art Bishonen. They actually are a little more, I think, um, a little more usable too for someone like me than Body Chan. Oh my gosh, so as I'm looking at it, okay. So as I'm looking at it, I'm realizing I, so the pale orange is much more orange than what she is. She's like the flesh version. And the interior says that it's um, gray. So it's like pretty much all of the packaging is just completely disparate from what I actually got. So that's not ever a good, that's not a good sign, right? 
those of you who collect figurines and get them from, through secondary sellers, um, pretty much all of my figurines have come from Good Smile, so. Uh, uh, maybe a couple have come from Tokyo Otaku Mode, which I know is supposed to be a pretty reputable site. Okay, so we've got the feedies, we've got the handies, <laughs> we've got the base, and we've got our gentleman here, Figma action figure series archetype he oh okay he has some been to him uh i think she oh yes very much vinyl not that i am complaining i love the smell of vinyl it's like the smell of new toys oh no i broke her i bent her too far back there we go pushed her back okay so don't do that don't bend them so far back that they're like pelvic bone <laughs> comes uh, comes un unhooked that's a thing Oh, does his head have his... Okay, okay. His head actually does a decent articulation. I might even be stretching it, doing it like that. It's interesting. Oh, her head has... It's enough to tell, like, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, but it's enough to tell. Does he... Oh, my gosh. Okay, there we go. He's stiff, but he's got... Oh, okay. All right. So I know with the male, uh, the male body coon, he has like sliding muscle groups and stuff. And considering I paid like $8 a figure plus like very minimal, will your hand turn or will I break it? Oh, your hand is very stiff. Um, anyway, they have sliding muscle groups, which I'm just kind of impressed at his foot. That's, a, that's not like a natural. That's not a natural thing that, but I'm very impressed that his feet have articulation because my body chan didn't, but I know that, oh yeah, I am pretty sure this is also a knockoff. That's cool. Uh, anyway, he doesn't have nearly the sliding muscle groups that I think the male, the body coon has, but he is still a good little posable artist reference with his weird creepy neck and his weird creepy chest piece. And she's a good artist reference with her way too long, strange neck, super long, weird neck. That's okay. I am excited to get to play with these more in the future. I am excited to find a winner, a home for the Body Chan later on. I hope you guys enjoyed this weird comparative unboxing thing that I did with probably knockoff figures that I got out from Wish. I hope you guys have a great evening and I hope to see you guys Saturday. So have a good evening, guys. I'll see you again really soon. Bye, guys.